Hi guys, I'm gonna talk to you through my steering wheel today because I forgot my mount at home. Um, but this is a quick video on how to properly manage EV cars. If you have like a Tesla or any car that is an electric car that you are renting out on Turo. So I have a Tesla as a part of my fleet and I love renting it out. Overall, people are super happy with the experience with the Tesla. So here are some best practices when you are renting out an EV charge. First and foremost, always give your charge almost at a full charge, if not at a full charge to your renters. Of course, sometimes with EV car cars, it's hard to be at 100% battery life because you know if you're meeting your renter somewhere, you probably have to drive a couple miles or things like that do happen. But try to be as close to 100% as possible so people don't have to charge so soon into their trip. You wanna give them the most amount of life out of the battery. Then second, in your listing descriptions, when it comes to electric vehicles, most of the time the people that rent my Tesla they're not super familiar with how these cars work and they really want to have that first time experience with it so I take a good five to ten minutes to really walk them through everything so that one during their trip they don't have to ask me questions so that it's actually less work for you later on and second so that their trip goes smoothly and they know exactly what to do when it comes time to charge they know when to charge and they know how to charge so I always walk them through how to find a charging station because obviously most of the time people don't have the ability to charge at home show them how to find a charging station how to plug in um, with Tesla's they have supercharging stations so I explain that to them and then I even explain to them how to use paid for stations with the adapter so you really want to give them a full walkthrough so that they have a seamless experience and a good experience because what that will result in is them leaving great reviews about renting an EV car leading more people into wanting to experience that so really just be as informative as possible so that it's a great experience for the guests and also it's gonna end up being easier for you now, another reason why I emphasize really explaining to people on how to charge the cars and how low the battery has to get in order for you to, you know, start making your way over to a charging station. Like for example, my Tesla, I tell people when it gets down to about like 60 miles, you want to start planning on heading over to a station because, you know, a station could be somewhat far away and you just want them to plan ahead because the last thing you want to do is have to tow an electric vehicle back. It is such a hassle. It's especially Tesla's because of how they sit. It's very difficult to tow them. So you just don't want to have that issue to begin with and it can be well avoided if you just communicate with your guests on how to do everything. Um, then aside from that, there are some settings that you can set in place for a guest just to make it an even easier experience. For example, on my listing, I do have prepaid EV charging. So if they want to bring it back, I allow them to bring it back at 30 miles and they can pay $20, $25 for prepaid EV charging. That way they don't have to stop and charge it and then bring it back because that takes up time. Then Turo also has in the reimbursement section, if they bring it back zero to 50%, you can charge them X amount. And if they bring it back between 50 and 100, you can charge them X amount depending on how much battery life you started them off with to begin with. So these are all are all really great add-ons to help make the experience so much better for EV cars and I think that they're really starting to get popular on the platform and people really like the idea of not having to pay for gas. So if you're thinking about doing electric vehicles, it's definitely a good idea. I am seeing the market get stronger in that segment. Um, if it was up to me in the future, I would love to just have a fleet of all Tesla cars. If I had the ideal situation, that is what I would do if the demand was there. So hopefully the market works its way over there. I would love to own a dozen Teslas. Um, that would be my dream fleet. So if you were ever hesitant about doing an EV car, don't be because there are so many solutions available these days and people really enjoy them. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.